calling all poets. This three-word invitation made circles in her mind, like, like this, <laughs> leaving vapor trails of fear and doubt. She always dreamt about coming on this stage, grabbing this mic, and pouring beauty out of her mind like all the poets she loves to come and watch. But she knows that even if courage didn't dodge her, that her writing, it just wasn't good enough. She said, I ain't so much as written a proper grocery list, let alone weave strings of words together that make music when they're strummed by a tongue. But everybody knows that's bullshit. See, everyone on this planet, in this room, that'll ever meet you, possesses knowledge only they can teach you. That leaves you with like seven billion lessons to be taught. Eight billion lessons to be taught. You hold the keys to at least two. Come on. There's poetry in every breath and every step you've ever taken. So you just got to use your voice to illustrate them. Your eyes have seen things that no one in here will ever witness. Your existence is the sum of every story that came before you. So you got to celebrate them. And maybe you never put it down and put it to verse. Okay. But every second that you have ever spent on this earth is a stanza in the poem that you have been living since birth. You are a poet by virtue of your beating heart. A beat we are all dying to listen to. So I'm calling all poets. Because your unspoken story, it rings so loudly in our ears. And I'm telling you, yo, the silence is deafening. I'm calling all poets. We spent ages obsessing over how to fly, forgetting storytelling is how you get your wings. I'm calling all poets because your words are the daily bread that this mic leavens. And I'm calling all poets because the, the mic, mic is, is here today. today. And it's, it's beckoning. beckoning. So we're calling all poets. Thank you.